Oh, hello! Today we're going to look at a song by the band Heróis do Mar called Paixão. Passion. This is a song from 1983. Uh, really catchy, still playing on the radio. Always fun. So, jumping right into it. The name of the band is an immediately obvious reference to anyone who knows anything about Portugal because it is the first line of the Portuguese national anthem, a portuguesa. It starts with Heróis do mar, nobre povo, nação valente e mortal. Heroes of the sea, noble people, valiant nation, immortal. That's, that's kind of Portugal's thing, right? The sea, right? Vasco da Gama, Columbus, you know, it's our thing. And paixão, it just means passion. But in Portugal, paixão can be a woman's name. It's a bit out of fashion, but there's plenty of people called paixão. Or Maria paixão. Uh, but... Well, actually, everyone used to be called Maria. Every woman was Maria and then something else. So, Maria, Filomena, Maria da Luz, Maria da Graça, Maria Vitória, Maria Conceição. Everyone was Maria. So much so that people don't even spell out Maria. If your name is Maria, if your name is Maria Filomena, you will just write M, superscript, tiny a, and then your second name, which is what people will call you anyway, because everyone's Maria. So it just starts out with solo drums, 80s synth drums, just doing this beat. Then the bass synth joins in. Before it goes into the chords over which the verse will be sung. Typical. Very singable. And we go into the verse. Jurai ser eu. I would translate it as I swore that I would be your moonlight. Literally, I swore to be me, your moonlight. Right? Moon is lua, so the moonlight is luar. And then, brilhar só eu. No teu olhar. So to shine only I in your eyes. So olhar is the look, as in the look in your eyes, right? The eye is o olho. The eyes, os olhos. So the look of your eyes, o olhar. And then your look is o teu olhar. In European Portuguese, you put articles before possessive pronouns like mine, yours. So it's not just teu olhar. It's o teu olhar, the your look. But it is in it, in the your look. Right? So, em o teu olhar. But em plus u contracts to nu. I have another course about contractions. You can check that out. Explains all of them in detail. We go into a little funky pre-chorus without lyrics. They just say, ah... Uh... Uh, uh. <laughs> During this, they do these weird moves.
moves and faces while saying uh you gotta check it out it's on youtube and we're in the chorus by show by show no vice fugir de me serás by show até ao fim by show by show no vice fugir de me serás by show até ao fim so we don't know if paixão is just his passion, a girl that he likes, or a girl called paixão, or both, right? And so paixão não vais fugir de mim. You will not run away from me. Hmm. Serás paixão até ao fim. You will be passion till the end. Hmm. What exactly is going on here? Paixão. It has a tilde, or in Portuguese a til, above the A, which gives it a nasal sound. So not paixão, but paixão. In order to make that sound, you have to make your face look like this. Eh. Paixão. Your nose has to be bundled up in the back to make that sound. Paixão. Right? And words that end in ão are almost always female, like paixão, the passion, a paixão. Another example, the nation, a nação. And these words have a kind of weird plural. The plural of paixão is paixões. Same thing. Till over the o, nasal. Right? And the plural of nação is nações. This chorus is interesting because it has two ways of doing the future tense in Portuguese. We have two future tenses. We have the futuro simples, right? The future simple. It's called simple because it's all in one word. In this case, serás. And the futuro composto, the compound future because it's composed of more than one word. In this case, vais fugir. Right? Now, in practice, no one uses the futuro simples. So here we have the verb to run away, to escape, fugir, and the futuro simples would be eu fugirei, tu fugirás, ele fugirá, nós fugiremos, vocês fugirão, eles fugirão. But you will never hear this because we almost always use the futuro composto, which is kind of like in English. So in English, the, the future tense is just you add a word like will, I will, and then the infinitive of the verb, I will escape, you will escape. And here it's not so different. To do the futuro composto, you just conjugate the verb to go, ir, in the present, followed by the infinitive of the verb you want. Kind of like in English you say, I'm going to run away, you're going to run away. This makes things a lot easier because you don't have to remember any endings of verbs. You only have to know the verb to go. Right? So here is the futuro composto of fugir. Eu vou fugir, tu vais fugir, ele vai fugir, nós vamos fugir, vocês vão fugir, eles vão fugir. Much easier. And we typically do use the futuro composto for to be as well, right? So I will be, eu vou ser, tu vais ser, ele vai ser. Nós vamos ser. Vocês vão ser. Eles vão ser. But sometimes, like in this song, because the futuro simples of to be, ser, is so short, sometimes we prefer to use that. 
and they do it here, right? They sing, Siraj Paishan, you will be the passion. And that sounds better, especially when it's sung, than Vai Ser Paishan, mm. right? So sometimes you do use the futur simples of ser. Eu serei, tu serás, ele será, nós seremos, vocês serão, eles serão. You've heard this before in Que será, será, whatever will be, will be, same word, será. But you can get by in any situation for any verb with the futuro composto, which is much, much easier to know. All you need to know is the verb to go in the present. And she will be passion until the end. For some reason, after the word até, until, we have to put the word to or a uh, in Portuguese, right? So até, a, o fim, until, to, the, end. In English, you would say with the expression up to the end, but not with the word until, right? But a uh, and u contract into ao. Once again, you can check all that out in the contractions course. We're not going to go into it here. And we're back to that one chord from the beginning. And the second verse. Oh, por favor. Vá lá, sorri. Oh, por favor. Oh, please. Right? We have oh, but not oh. We have our own oh with an accent. And this is the same one you use to call people. Like, if you want to call me, you can say, Ogi! But also all the typical uses of O oh in English, like, Oh my God. Oh meu Deus. Por favor is please. And it's a real, like, please, pretty please. Because in shops and in general, when you ask for things, you don't say, por favor. You say, se faz favor. Literally, if you can do me the favor. But it's our go-to please, right? Like, a coffee please. Um café, se faz favor. Por favor is only... Well, if you want to get Paixão's attention. Oh, por favor. And he says, vá lá sorrir. Come on, smile. <laughs> what? Rir is to laugh. And sorrir is to smile. And this is the imperative. Smile. Sorri. But before that, he says va la. Now, va is a certain conjunctive tense of the verb to go. Not actually important to know at the moment. Uh, and la usually means over there. But la is added to many idiomatic expressions just to add emphasis, right? So, va la just means come on. Do that thing that you don't want to do that I want you to do, right? Makes as much sense as come on in English. Come on what? Right? Idiomatic expressions don't make sense. So if you're late to a party and your friend is still not ready, you got to say, come on, voila, voila. And then, esta flor. I give you this flower. And unlike English, the word this is gendered. It's esta because flor is female. If it was something male, like this coffee, it would be ist café. Um beijo a ti. A kiss to you. We go back to the funk. Back in the chorus. 
Paixão, paixão, não vais fugir de mim, serás paixão, até ao fim, paixão, paixão, não vais fugir de mim, serás paixão, até So that was Paixão by Heróis do Mar. Uh, go check it out. I really recommend to see the video on YouTube. There's two videos. One, they're like filming somewhere. It's not as cool. And the other one, they're on stage. They're kind of dressed in striped shirts with wearing berets. And they do these weird dances and looks at the camera. It's hilarious. Um, so I recommend that one. And uh, yeah, check them out. It's on Spotify, YouTube, and enjoy singing along. And uh, I'll see you here next time for the next song. <laughs>